and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Angers, and they take on Trois. Yeah, thanks Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. And a look at the starting lineup for Angers. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played the system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Allez, je vous souhaite à toutes et à tous un bon match. And the game begins. Amadou. Mateo Pavlovic. And it's with Capel. Amadou. And on the ball, Pavlovic. And it's with Capel. Good looking cross. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. No possibilities inside the box. Dumbia. It's got to be! A goal in the early stages, precisely what they had been planning. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. But for the score! The number 19, Stefan Balken. Pierrick Capel. Stefan Balken. The ball with Toma Mongani. At times they make passing look easy. Can he do it? And a goal! The quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post. Terrible. It's going their way, 2-0. But for Angers, the number 19, 
Stefan Balken! Amadou. And in possession, Fulgini here. Dumbia. Romain Thomas. Fulgini. And he was in the right place to intercept. It's a perfect... Fulgini takes some progress with the ball at his feet Mongani he could pick out a teammate Amadou and clears his lines Vincent Morceau. It's opening up for them. It needs an accurate cross. Amadou. Mastery of the passing game. Looks promising this. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Romainique Kouame. Oh, nice ball. Can they get in behind them? Teammate available. A really effective shielding under pressure. Terrific block there. Crossing possibilities. The hosts have really controlled possession. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Just couldn't capitalise there. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Throw-ins given. Amadou and it's with Capel Fulgini Pierrick Capel Monceau and it's with Capel Fulgini oh a perfectly timed pass the pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass It is to be a throw-in. Mongani. Stefan Baoken. Amadou. Monceau's in possession. Mongani. Can he play it in? Dangerous looking attack. Dumbia. So a throw in here. Matias Pereira Lage. Well, he keeps going. Space and time for the cross. Mongani. Fruitful looking attack. Shot attempted. Didn't fool the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Well, they're going for the short one. Fulgini. 
He's lost it. Now can they counter clinically? Will they profit from this situation? And space to cross it. Dagnier. It's with Dean Gourmet. Well, he played that one really well. Might be dangerous. Just couldn't get it through. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Sends it back. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Dingome. Oh, a vital interception. Mateo Pavlovic. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Well, they've lost the ball. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and he's thought his way through this match, Lee. Well, he's been the heartbeat of the team again today. It's a big title, but he carries it off brilliantly well. Happy with responsibility. He's took the ball, he's used it really well. I love this guy. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Fulgini. And it's with Baoken. And they need to get tighter. Losing possession a bit easily. Not giving him a moment's peace. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Tardieu. Bartelme. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Using his strength to shield the ball. Tuzgar. Moving the ball forward with purpose. This looks promising. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Just couldn't capitalise there. Mateo Pavlovich. Dumbia. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Well, high marks for that pass. Matias Pereira Lage. And in possession, Fulgini here. And it might be. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. And he read it well. Going well. Can they get in behind them? Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? 
perfect challenge and he saw the situation developing it looks promising the defender doing his job well there might well be scope for them to counter attack here And intercepts again. Stefan Baoken. And it's with Capel. Fulgini. Pure ball control. Monceau. And teammates to play it to. Determined defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Florian Tardieu. Well, here's the replay, and the keeper knows that near post should be his. But he left a gap, and he got punished. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Matias Pereira Lage. Stefan Baoken. And in possession, Fulgini here. Amadou. Can he convert? Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Changement pour Angers. Joueur sortant, le numéro 15, Pierrick Capel. And firing it into the area. Classy goalkeeping. Well, it was a good save from the goalkeeper, but you'd expect him to make that save, wouldn't you? Dingome. Tardieu. Salmier. Romenique Kouame. Can they find a gap in the defence? The delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. Monceau. And on the ball, Pavlovic. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Vincent Monceau. Jimmy Cabo, Stefan Baoken. Dingome. Florieux. Plenty of options. Kouame. And 
the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Amadou. It's with Laj. Crossing opportunity. Now disappointing end to the move. Strong play here. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And time for the change now. Kwame. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Read it magnificently and in. Tardieu. And the ball with Kwame. In behind for him to chase. And, not to... and there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. And going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result that was. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, nine out of ten.